Rev up your engines! It's time for Scotty Kilmer Duncan. If you've ever had a car die on you while you're driving down the highway, but then it starts right back up in a few minutes, then today's your lucky day because I'm going to show how to fix a car that dies randomly. Now the first thing you have to realize is many things can do that. Fuel pumps, fuel injectors, bad ignition systems. So you need to get information first. So you need to pick up your scan tool and plug it in. But don't freak out about scan tools. You can buy used ones for 30 bucks and even some inexpensive brand new ones that cost as little as $50. Then you have to find where to plug it in and this Mazda, it's behind the fuse box. Right here. Just get the business under your plug and plug it right in. Ah. Then you put the key in the ignition and turn it to the on position so that the lights are on but the car isn't running. Then you go to read codes and press enter. Now it's going to tell us if there's any codes. And in this case there is. PO340, cam position sensor A circuit malfunction. Now for this code it can either be a bad camshaft position sensor, bad wiring or a bad main computer. So we have to check them all. And we better hope that it's not the main computer because man they're expensive. Now in this Mazda the camshaft position sensor is in the back of the engine. Right here. If you start at the front of the engine and work your way back there's a sensor right here. And here's a trick. You can use a hammer to check it. With the engine running, tap it. And if the engine starts to miss or dies like this, you know the sensor's gone bad. Replacing the sensor is pretty easy. Just squeeze and unplug the connector, then put on a 10 millimeter socket and loosen the bolt. Then the sensor just pops right out. And here it is. Now all we need to do is get a new one. And here's the new one. It just fits into the hole one way. It pops right in, then you put the bolt back on. And remember to tighten it just a little bit because it's plastic and you don't want to crack it. And it's also a good idea to spray the connector with a little electrical cleaner because they only use tiny amounts of electricity and any little piece of dirt will make them work incorrectly. Before you snap it back on put a little electrical contact grease on the connector too. Squeeze a little right into the electrical connector and then snap it back on until it clicks. And of course you want to turn off the check engine light by resetting it before you start the car. Just choose a race code Press enter and say yes. Now it's erased the codes. Then we start the car and the lights off. So the next time that your car dies while driving down the highway, don't start kicking it. Get out a scan tool and fix it. And remember, if you've got any car questions, just visit scottykilmer.com and I'll answer them.